back at it, still streaking with Luke. And I wish that before these games started, that you could quickly change your badges once you see your opponent and even see their ratings really quick. Maybe instead of watching everybody's dances, if you want to during that time, you can quickly bring up the menu and make some changes. As you continue to face different lineups, whether it's 2v2 or 3v3, you might want to make a change based on the build you see stepping on the court. This is kind of like a miniature wish list video. My view on the park is definitely skewed a little bit because I have this logo and I get games quickly, but I did play with Moses with no logo and when nobody knew that was my gamer tag, it was really hard to get games. You saw it in those videos and then when you win a game, nobody's coming over to your court because they're afraid of losing. They don't want to have competition and you have to think, can you really blame them? In previous games, players would run away if they saw that you had a good record. They didn't want to play you. But something else is happening in 2K20. And look at Luke! Oh yeah! With the snatch block! Snatching souls! Yo! 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 Luke is now a defensive stopper. This is hilarious. Every game he does something on defense. We gotta keep talking about the flaws of the park. With this environment, obviously it's designed in such a way that you get to determine your opponents, who you're gonna play against. You don't have to step on those got next spots. You can look at those players. You can even watch their game and say, hmm, you see what they're doing and say, do I wanna play against that guy or would I rather go over there and play against these bumps? 2K did a good job taking away the records, but the system where you're overall can go up and down i like it i like that you can go from 95 to 99 but if you lose a game you get a 95 score no matter what happened in the game it could have been a close game it could have gone down to the wire but if you lose your overall rating is going down so that discourages competition a lot of people say why would i want to go play those guys because if i lose my rating is going to go down and then i'm going to have to play more hours to get my rating back up to come back online to play and have some fun. I like the system because it doesn't take long to get to 99. Me and Luke, we both started these new builds about maybe three weeks ago and we're already 99, so I like that. But when you're losing, you shouldn't always get a 95 score. You should sometimes get a 96 or maybe a 97, 98. Why do you automatically get a 95 no matter what happens in the game just because you lose? Ooh, one of my favorite dunks is I'm spinning like crazy. So this is discouraging competition, and this also makes it to where people are never gonna wanna play with randoms. If you're a random, you have a tough time getting games because if I'm 97 or 98, why would I wanna play with a random where I'm probably gonna lose and then my rating is gonna go down? When I was building this player up before I hit 95, I played some random games, it didn't matter to me. When I first made the build and I was 85 overall, I hit the park in a random session. I just wanted to see how my player moved. I played 3v3, so I don't care. It doesn't really matter. But once I hit 95, I'm not going to dare play with these randoms. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to have to spend more time to get my rating back up so I can play when my friends are online. So that's another reason why the park could be a little bit dead. Because people don't want to play with randoms. They never want to play with randoms. Because nothing ever good happens when you play with randoms. And now... Your rating can actually go down when you catch an L. And look at this guy. He's about to catch an L. He tried to go through the legs. We got to keep it real, though. Some players, they just don't have that competitive aspect to their game. So no matter what you do, they're never going to want to play good players. But you have to admit, there's a lot of discouraging factors from playing good players. And this game was crazy. We literally could not end the game. They're going to come all the way back because Luke cannot make a shot. And you know Luke knows his shot. And even in this game, he was making his shot. But at the end of the game, there was a switch that got flipped. And 2K just said, we're not allowed to score. So now he has his takeover. He's dunking on us. It's a one possession game. Has this ever happened to any of you before? Have you ever been in this situation where you just can't end the game? We're going to get a stop though. He blows the layup. And I've had enough. I was trying to give Luke the last shot so that we can both have 10 points, 11 points or so. But we just got to end it because this is some cheese. We got to get up off the court. And see, that's what happens sometimes in this game. 
you might have a game where your shot is just not dropping, or maybe you even have a full-on session where your shot is not dropping, but that doesn't mean that you need to change your shot. I know some people in 2K, every day they're changing a shot. Every week, they think it's the shot. It's really not the shot. It's just that sometimes you get hit with the cheese. Just gotta take your L and come back later and you'll do better next time. Don't give up on your shot. You know it's a good shot. Like Luke, he knows what he's doing. He doesn't have to lose confidence in what he's doing. Just keep doing it and you know it's gonna go in. Like me, I just keep taking this shot. I know it's money. Even if I miss that shot in the game, I'm gonna take that shot the very next time I get it. Another feature I'd like to have for the park is the ability to change your matchup. Maybe they got you guarding one guy, but you want to switch, or maybe in the middle of the game you want to make a switch, and you don't want to be stuck on somebody on the inbound. Because right now with communication, you can switch, but the arrows are going to be pointing at somebody else. Your teammate grade can go down because it's going to say you left your assignment. And look at this guy. He knew what time it was. Exactly. He already knew. He already knew he was going to get the business. That flop just says it all. He knew it was over. But that's another thing. Now your teammate grade can go down if you're making a switch that can help you win the game because your arrows are going to be pointing at somebody else. It can be confusing, especially when you're playing with randoms that don't communicate. They won't understand what you're doing. Like if I have a defensive build and somebody that I'm not guarding is doing all the dribbling, I'm going to want to make the switch. But if I do that, my teammate grade can go down. It can get confusing, especially when you're playing the rec center or pro-am. It's the same thing. You can't make a switch. You should be able to make the switch. Somebody on the team should be able to say, hey, you guard that guy. So on inbounds, checkups, whatever, you're not all out of position and out of a mismatch. This year, it's actually worth it to be a legend in 2K20. Obviously, most people can't do it because you have to play too many hours, but for the people that get there, the fact that you get 10 more badges in every category, that's huge. Because now you can completely transform your build. You can even make a new build. Because when we're creating our build, a lot of times we're putting attributes in certain places so that we get a certain amount of badge points for each category. But if you know you're gonna get 10 more, that completely changes everything. So it's actually worth it for everybody that made it to Legend. It's some cheese. It, it's beautiful, the builds that you can make. Like this build I'm playing on, if I knew I had 10 more badges, I could put attributes and ratings in different places and he would be even better. The only bad thing is all of these Legends, when 2K21 comes out, they don't really get anything for it. What if they would let you carry over some progress? What if they gave everybody that was a Legend maybe plus three badges in every category or maybe just plus two give them something putting their name on that little stone what is that that doesn't do anything look at luke diving again <laughs> luke is the hustle god the defensive demon the defensive cheeser so if 2k did something like that where you could carry over a little bit of progress then maybe the people that aren't legend would fight to get to legend like right now let's say you're an elite you might say okay if i know this is going to carry over a little bit of progress i'm going to get some type of benefit maybe i'll make the push to legend but since it's not you're like ah there's really no point because when i get to legend by the time i do it's going to be 2k21 anyway if they did something like that it would just make people want to play the game even more i would think maybe the park would have more activity out there so i've been talking about little features here and there but obviously for the park we want different locations. We want affiliations because that's something that everybody is missing. It was crazy being able to say, we're going to pull up to Sunset today. We're going to go to Rivet City today. Just having different locations is going to make it easier, better. You're just going to be looking at better designs. You're going to be playing this game for all these hours. You want to see something different. You don't want to see the same thing you've been seeing for the last few years. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do for 2K21 because you know with the new consoles, you know they're plotting and planning something. When you go to a new console, that's a big deal. You can't just go out there and be slacking on your Mac and you got to really show out, especially when games, you're going to be trying to show off the graphics of the new consoles and what they can do and you want your game to stand out 
from all the other games that are debuting with the system. You know that 2K is plotting and planning. They're doing something. We'll see what happens. This was a quick little wish list video. Nothing too crazy, but just some things that were on my mind. Why not let it fly? Another fun session with Luke. Be on the lookout for him because he's going to be making a channel soon. So when he does and he has some videos, I'll drop the link to his channel. Make sure to show him some love. We're having a great time out here. Too many imitators, not enough creators. Why would I wager? I've got everything. There's nothing to win. I just got spin. Mad Black Range Rover. Just got takeover. Got two girls like Lou Will and they are sober. Oh,